Watch out. You cannot see nothing. Yeah. You can't see. You have to bag up. I feel you. I feel you. You see the whole picture. Because close up, all you see is pain, sorrow, backbiting, talking, things that are the world. But God wants us to praise and worship him. Sometimes we have to stand back to see what God got for us. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen. Thank you for that word. Amen, amen, amen. If you will, please grab your hymnal, number 181. Pass me now. We're going to sing verses 1, 2, and 4. Pass me not, head. Pass me Let's call him Savior, Savior, and Verse 2, let me at. Call him Savior. Savior. the spring
Amen, 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 amen. I am so grateful this week that someone prayed for me, had me on their mind. They took the time and prayed for me. Can we just sing just a little bit? Put your hands together. Sound like Sunday morning. Sound, sound. Jesus, my Jesus. Somebody, some, somebody pray. Took the time. I'm so glad, oh, I'm so glad they pray. Oh, 
Come on, if you know he's keeping you, come on, let us lift it higher. Lift it higher. Lift it. Come on, come on, come on. Baby. I want you to know that God is keeping me. I want you to know that me, me. God is keeping me. Well, yeah, he's blessed to me. And he can. And he's me oh, from. Oh, oh. Yeah. If you got the activities of your lips, you ought to God say, well, yeah, he is blessed to me, and he's kept me from, yeah, yeah. If you got food and clothing, you ought to say, God is keeping me. If you know he often does for you, God is keeping me.
Come on, bless God in this place. Just a little bit more. Bless God in this place. He's a miracle working, keeping God. Come on, come on, come on. God is. Oh, oh yeah. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. No doubt in my mind. Yes, he is. Yeah, 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 yeah. If it had not been for who was on my side, to give him an authentic praise. Can you just wave your hand in this one? An authentic, from down in your spirit praise that if it had not been, if it had not been for him on my side, I don't know, no, 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 where I'd be. Just sing just 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 a little bit. It says if it had not been come on church for the Lord on my side. Go ahead and say it. Tell me what I be. I don't want to know. I, I, I know where would I say it one more time. If, if it had not for the Lord, for the Lord, for the Lord on my side, tell me where would I be? the devil today. He, he, he kept, he kept my enemies away. He left the sun, he left the sun. When I thought it was over, he just rocked me, he rocked me in the cradle of his arms. Because he knew it, he knew it, he knew it. to think too long of where I would be. I don't have to think too long of where. I don't have to.
have to think too long. Hallelujah. Just give him a wave offering because his presence is heaven to me, okay? Love and beauty, endless work. Let them use you. Let them use you. Let them use you. Nothing in this world will satisfy. Because Jesus, 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 you're the cup that won't run dry. And your presence, your presence, your presence. Your presence, your presence is heaven to me. Treasure of my heart and of my soul. In my weakness, you, you are, are merciful. merciful. You are merciful. Hallelujah, Father. Redeemer of my past and present wrong. Go get it, go get it. Holder of my future days to come. Your prayer. Your presence, oh, oh, oh. No, your no. presence no, no, no. is heaven to me.
me. Bless God. Bless, that's the only reason we're here, for his presence. In his presence, there is fullness of joy. In his presence, there is healing. There is mercy evermore. There is, in his presence, there is forgiveness. There is love. There is light. Whatever that you need is found in his presence. Bless God in this place. Amen. 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 Amen for your presence. Thank To be in his presence. Yeah, it's, it's personal. But there's so much that we can receive in his presence. What a song to set the tone for the message this morning. God is truly good, amen. I'm not going to belabor the time this morning. I'm just glad to be in his presence. Uh, just to be in his presence. Amen. That's enough worship for me. Bring me up a little bit, Keith, or help me out back there. Amen. God is able. He's more than able. Good to know that in his presence, when we're weak, he's strong. When, when you don't feel like you can carry on, but if you can get in his presence, What, what a song to set the tone for the message this morning. Nobody does it like the Lord. Amen. Let's go before the Lord in prayer. Father God, we thank you today for another opportunity to assemble in this sanctuary. Lord, meet the needs of these, your people, who have assembled themselves here today. Speak to their needs. Lord, take this word that's been written and now you hallow it. Make it holy. Let it be a seed planted in good soil for the furtherance of your kingdom. You take over right now. As I decrease, you increase. Just have your way in this place now. Lord, speak to their heart that they may leave here better than when they came in. Have your way. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. If you have your Bibles this morning, just for a few moments, I want to look at a passage of Scripture found in 1 Peter chapter 5. First Peter chapter five. Going over 
to those numbers. What a song to set the tone for the message. God just has a way. standing in his presence that he'll strengthen me this morning after dealing with an acute respiratory infection and on medication and in a short period of time it's been cleared up but I'm still recovering but I'm still standing so I thank him this morning for allowing me to be in his presence. Oh, that's worship by itself. I don't know who else came in with something. But the message this morning, there in verse 7, it says, Casting all your cares upon him, for he cares for you. You may be seated. Casting all your cares upon him, for he cares for you. Just for a few moments this morning, I, I want to talk about turn it over to the Lord. Turn it over to the Lord. And according to the Amplified Translation, it gives us more detail into the scripture. It says, casting all your cares, and your cares being described as all your anxiety, all your worries, all your concerns, once and for all, cast it upon him. But it said, once and for all. For he cares about you. But it talks about in the Amplified, his caring. His caring is the deepest affection and watches over you very carefully because he cares for you. So as I look at this, I focused on this word cast. The Greek word for cast is epira repressantes. Epira repressantes. It's spelled E-P-I-R-R-I-P-S-A-N-T-E-S. When we think about cast, most of the time, we are thinking about casting in the sense of, of, of fishing or casting a reel or casting a lot, dropping something, letting go of something. But according to the Greek, this word cast in the in first Peter has to deal with a deliberate, forceful throwing. It's deliberate, it's forceful, and you're throwing. Y'all didn't get it. See, a lot of times when we turn it over to the Lord, we want to hand it to him. But the Lord is literally saying through Peter here, he wants you to cast your cares. That thing that's burdening you down, he wants you to throw it to him. Y'all ain't there yet. Yeah, just throw it to him. He can catch it. Oh, y'all will get there in a minute. This casting is a deliberate, forceful throwing. He says, cast all your cares. He wants you to be deliberate. And that's why the Amplified said that you do it once and for all. Have you ever got sick and tired of something? And when you threw it away, you didn't go back and pick it up? Yeah. 
you cast it off. You cast off some folks in your life. You threw them away and didn't go back and pick them up. Somebody going to talk back to me. Yeah. But in the text, he writes us a prescription for whatever we are faced with in life. That's why I'm glad I'm standing in his presence this morning. Because I'm about to cast something off. I'm going to throw this thing over to him and let him take charge of it. Oh, I wish you could follow the example. The first thing I want to bring to your attention this morning, if you're going to turn it over to the Lord, the first thing you have to do is make the choice. You got to make the choice. You either got to make the choice to give it to him or will you continue to carry? Now, if you don't want to give it to him, then don't complain while you carry it. Because he's given you a prescription on how to deal with all of your anxiety, how to deal with all of your worries, and how to deal with all of your concerns. He says, do it once and for all. You got to make a choice to give it to him. Or will you continue to carry it? But if you're going to carry it, don't complain about it. Because you had a choice. That's the first thing in this prescription. But then the second thing that I want to point out to you. Once he, talking about the Lord, has it, don't take it back. Once he has it, don't take it back. The scripture says, once and for all in the Amplified, some of us give it to God, and before God can deal with it, we go back and pick it up. We don't trust him enough to cast our cares upon him. We don't trust him enough to give him all of our anxiety. We don't trust him enough to give him all of our worries. We don't trust him enough to give him all of our concerns. We want to do it, but we want to have some control in the process. If you're going to give it to him, once he has it, don't you take it back. And proud of the problem that you're facing in life, that some of the stuff you told the Lord to deal with, you took it back. You're still trying to handle it on your own, under your own limited ability, under your own limited power and strength. You're trying to deal with something that's much greater than you. Yeah. Yeah. Your worries, your concerns, your anxieties, your fears, your afflictions, none of this is ever too heavy for the Lord. You got to remember, he carried the sins of the whole world upon his shoulders. And if he can carry the sins of the whole world upon his shoulders, surely he can carry the little bit that you're dealing with and you don't need to take it back. Oh, I wish I had some help in here. Somebody other than me is in his presence this morning. And you got something that you need to cast on him. You don't need to turn it over. You need to throw that thing to him and say, Lord, take it. I'm tired of dealing with it. I'm going to give it to you and you take care of it. But turn it over to the Lord. We have to make choice. And once the Lord has it, don't take it back. But third and finally, the scripture gives us this. He already knows you can't handle it by yourself. He already knows that you can't handle it by yourself. 
The Amplified says he cares for you with the deepest affection. That's how deep his love is. It's a God pay. It's a godly love. It's unconditional. Your circumstance in his eyesight is not too heavy because he loves you unconditionally. He has a deep affection for you. But then the Amplified says he watches over you very carefully. He already knows you can handle it by yourself. He's willing and waiting for you to turn it over to him. But the problem comes when we want to hold on to it. Here we are selfish. Here we are going through something that we can be delivered from. But we won't face the deliverer and turn it over to him. Here we are struggling with our worries and anxieties, and he sent us a comforter. But we won't allow the comforter to provide the comfort we need. He already knows you can't handle it by yourself. He cares about you with the deepest affection. And he watches over you carefully. You want to know how deep his affection is? Scripture says, for God so loved the world. That's deep affection. That he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. He watches over you. Very carefully. Why? Because he cares for you. He watched over you last night while you slumbered and slept. Some may have tossed and turned, but he was still watching over you. We serve a God that never slumbers or sleeps. He's always paying attention to his children. When he woke you up this morning, it wasn't an alarm clock. When he stirred your spirit and you got out of bed this morning and everything was all right. I feel my help coming up. Because he cared for you. He watched over you. Woke you up in your right mind. Because he cares for you. When your feet hit the floor, you were still able to walk. Because he cares for you. Somebody laid down last night, and it was there last night. But you ought to have a hallelujah praise that he woke you up this morning because he cares for you. There's nothing that you're facing that the Lord can't handle. That's the message for me this morning. I got to keep on keeping on. It gets tough sometimes because I'm human too. But I got to trust him enough to turn it all over to him. I can't worry about it. But he'll strengthen me in my weakness to do whatever needs to be done. I'm just going to turn it all over to the Lord. He cares for you. The prescription says, casting all your care. Upon him, for he cares for you. You ought to trust him this morning. Some of you carrying some heavy loads, been carrying them a long time, but you got the prescription now, and you ought to turn it over to the Lord. You're in his presence, you just reached your release point. You ought to take the burden off your shoulders and give it to the one that carried the sins of the world on his shoulders. Carry them up to a hill called Calvary, nailed to an old rugged cross. He died for the sins of the world, but yet the grave couldn't hold him. 
for one Sunday morning he rose with all power in his hands. And surely if God raised his son from the dead, if you turn it all over to him, he'll carry your burdens. He'll carry your afflictions. He'll carry your concerns. He'll carry everything that's plaguing you. He'll give you relief right now. You're at your release point. You ought to give it to him while you got time right now this morning. Whatever it is, turn it over to him. Lord, I trust you enough to trust you with my concerns, to trust you with my worries, to trust you with my doubts and my fears, my affliction, my sickness, my illness, whatever it is, I'm giving it to you today. Lord, I'm going to turn it all over to you. You know why? Because he's able. And I like the way the country preacher says, him able. Him able. He can handle it all. So let's turn it over to the Lord today. Let's give him a hand clap of praise in this place. Don't leave here the way you came in. You ought to leave here better because you surrendered it all over to the Lord. He's worthy. Yeah, he's worthy. He's worthy to be praised. Through it all. Through it all. I decided to trust the Lord through it all. You brought me through this. You brought me through that. Lord, I'm grateful. Yes, I am to you. You made a way out of no way. Lord, I'm grateful, yes I am, to you. Brought me through. Yes, yes you did, you brought me through that. Thank you, Lord. Yes, I am grateful.
I'm grateful. Lord, I'm grateful unto you. Oh, that's my prayer this morning. I'm just grateful that I'm still standing, even under the circumstances. I'm grateful this morning. Amen. Just turn it over to the Lord. You have to make the choice. And once he has it, don't take it back. Because he already knows you can't handle it by yourself. What a word. And this morning, if by chance, if the Lord has pricked your heart and your conscience, and you've made a choice to receive him as your Lord and Savior. I want to meet you here after worship at the altar to give you further instructions, whether you come as a candidate for baptism or based on your Christian experience or by letter. And if by chance you are viewing virtually this morning and the Lord has moved on your heart, and you want to be a part of this congregation virtually, go to our Facebook page or our website. There you will find our email address. Write us, and we'll communicate back with you with further instruction. There's plenty good room in the kingdom of God. And if no one comes, Jacob does not lose his reward. The Lord still keeps his promise. So let's give the Lord a hand clap of praise today. He's so worthy. I shared in our ministerial Sunday school class this morning, your praise shouldn't come after the victory. You ought to have a praise in the midst of your storm. Whatever you're going through and facing in this life, you ought to still have a praise why are you going through it? Because you're not going through it by yourself. The Lord is going through it with you. Is he worthy this morning? Just tell him thank you for things being as well as they are. Your situation could be worse, but for them being as well as they are, you ought to tell him thank you this morning. Oh, he's so worthy. Amen. Amen. We're in good time this morning. And I just want to say that thank you to the women of Rock Santa that went down to Antioch, Mount Willing, for the old Alabama District Women's Convention for representing us. They had a great time on yesterday. Amen. And, and even through my recovery, I was teaching in a conference. But the work don't stop. Oh, God, that sounds secular there. It don't stop. Amen. The struggle is real. But you got somebody that can be in the struggle with you. Amen. So we need to know how to turn it over to him. Lord, I can't get this done without you. I need you every day. Whatever you're going to face, you need him to face it with you. Amen. Amen. We are there this morning. I just thank God for your presence. You made the journey to be in this sanctuary. Amen. And, and now that we've gone on Thursday where previous services are being played during the week on 96.5, I thank God for opening a, a venue for us from 6 o'clock to 6.30 that we can spread the gospel a little farther. He's expanded our coast. And I'm excited because I see the voice of Roxana in the house today. Jamie, stand up and let them see you. Amen. She did our intro, our outro, our promotion. She does all of the flyers for the church. She's quiet, but she's a strong instrument in what she does. 
And I thank God for her being willing to let the Lord use her to promote the kingdom of God. Sometimes you got to give people their flowers while they were yet living. She does a great work to help her pastor move Roxana forward. And I just thank God for planting her here. That's an important message to all of you. Do what you can for your church to push it forward for the kingdom of God. If you're not doing anything, it's not because you don't have opportunity. There's plenty of room and opportunity. You just have to make up your mind that I'm going to get involved and help Roxana be better. Amen? Amen. God bless you. We're there. If you are staying where you are, we'll receive our benediction. Amen. Yes, Deacon Gray. Next Sunday after church. Mm -hmm. That's fine. That's fine. That's well. That's well. Amen. Next Sunday after church, the men will be meeting. Bring your manual, and you will meet after service on next Sunday. Thank God for you, Chairman Adam, to continue the good work. Uh, God is able. I want you to leave here better than what you came in with. With a newfound courage, a newfound purpose, a newfound strength in times of weakness. We don't know what tomorrow is going to hold, but we do know the one that holds tomorrow in his hand. So leave here filled with a joy, a resounding joy, that he cares for you, that he's going to meet you in your tomorrow, and you won't have to face it by yourself. Let us pray. Father God, we thank you right now just for this opportunity to stand in your holy presence. Once again, you've been faithful. You watched over us. You've cared for us. You've kept us. Now as we prepare to depart this place, put a hedge around us. Keep us in perfect peace. Build us up where we are torn down. Strengthen us where we are weak. Give us courage where fear tries to set in. Now, Lord, remember our sick and shut in, our homebound. We thank you this morning for Deacon Felder's presence back in the congregation. Lord God, we thank you for what you're doing when we don't see your hand moving. You're still doing the kingdom work. Lord, remember those that may be incarcerated. Continue to reveal yourself to them in their isolation. Now, Lord, give us traveling grace. As we get ready to depart this place, you go before us, prepare the way, make it straight. When we get to our destinations and turn the knob, you meet us on the other side of the door. And allow us to find everything decent and in order. Bless the gifts that will be brought this morning in the forms of our tithes and offerings for the furtherance of the kingdom of God. Multiply it so it could go farther than it could ever go on its own. For each family represented here now, Lord, bless their lives, bless their loved ones near and far. Lord God, bless those that they are connected to. Have your way through their lives. Use them for the furtherance of your kingdom. Now may the grace of God and the sweet communion of his Holy Spirit rest, rule, and abide with us henceforth and forevermore. And all of God's children said, Amen. 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 Tell 
tell somebody you're happy to see them and you love them. Embrace somebody that you normally don't embrace. Amen.